Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. And today we've got the sound system demo of the 2022 Kia Carnival and its top level 12 speaker Bose sound system. This is gonna be an in-depth review. We're gonna take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, audio controls, adjustments, speaker locations, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, then get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling. I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just wanna to listen to the tunes, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the music. Before we get started, hop out, take a look at this sharp new minivan. Top trim here, SX Prestige. Looking really nice, really unique. Look at this LED element there in the lights. This thing is striking both inside and out. Kia's pulling all the stops to make the carnival something, uh, something to stand out, something to really get people's attention and not feel like they're settling with the minivan, but actually getting a unique experience. If you want to see more on the carnival, we have a full review and a highway fuel economy test and a little fun comparison between our town and country. Links to those are in the description. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. The infotainment screen, a little bit updated here for this Kia model. Looking good, nice contrasts, very responsive as well. I like that refresh rate and that touch rate. Let's go up here to sound settings. Everything loads quickly. For premium sound, you have the Bose Centerpoint surround technology, so it makes things sound a little more 3D. Let's toggle that on and off. Ultimately, having center point off is going to give you a more true to recording sound. So we're going to leave that off for most of the test, but maybe we'll toggle it on later. You have your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and valence. Treble mid-range bass, and then some guidance and volume adjustments. So let's go through treble mid-range bass now. wide range of adjustment there. For audio controls, you have this nice volume knob. It is far away from my taste. If I'm sitting here driving, I have to pull my back off the rear of the seat to reach up and grab the knob. Other than that, the knob feels nice and looks good, but you do have a good volume rocker here on the left side of the steering wheel, so that helps alleviate that issue. For track selection, you have some buttons here, capacitive touch you can use. If you're on the media screen, you can use the touch screen. You can use this tuner knob to go through your playlist. And lastly, you've got an up and down right next to the volume controls where it should be on the steering wheel. For audio inputs in the Carnival, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, USB-A, no USB-C, Sounds of Nature, which is a gimmick we'll show you later on in the road. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, not wireless, just corded. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, no disc player, no USB type C, and as I said, no wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. Hopefully they add that into future model years. All right, let's get this other track going. Speaker locations for the Carnival. This is a 12 speaker system. Now, Bose doesn't typically produce, or I should say publish any of its maximum wattages. So no idea on that, but it does have plenty of power. Starting in the bottom left, you've got one, two, three, four in the center, five, six, seven. And back. You've got 8, 9 in the second row, 10, 11 in the third row, and then a subwoofer in the very back. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Let's start with CarPlay first. Now, unfortunately, there's only one data port in this car, so I am going to have to turn off my USB music, unplug that, plug in the phone. you got three ports up here, but two of them are for power only. Right away, we're prompted with CarPlay stuff. You click through, agree to some things, and then you can click on it. Look at that, look at how quick. I did, there's no cutting right there. That's how quick it was to get Apple CarPlay working. I love that. Greeted with the settings screen here first, interestingly. Look how wide that is. You guys can't see the maps, but you got your music screen, real big, your home screen looking very nice. Android Auto. Should hopefully be a similarly smooth affair. 
There we go, plugged right in, agree to one thing on the phone, and Android Auto is connected as well. Unfortunately, it's not the widescreen Android Auto. Kind of just gives you a, a cutoff there, but you got your screen, you got uh, settings menu right there. Not nearly as high definition as the CarPlay either, but everything does work. All right, let's get the tunes going again and get on the road. sloppiness of the mid-range when you turn it up really high and there's not as much power coming through the base as I would really like in a top tier system but overall the balance is good and with just a few subtle tweaks on the equalizer I got it right where I think it was best just kind of one down on trouble one down on mid-range two up on base brought through a little bit more power let's take a quick second listen to the carnival at 70 As far as a minivan goes, not too bad. Not super quiet in here, but it's a big cavernous box, so I don't particularly blame them. Let's check out the Sounds of Nature gimmick, which I suppose in a minivan is maybe a little bit more useful. Occupy your kids. We got Lively Forest. Calm Sea Waves. Rainy Day. Open Air Cafe. Warm Fireplace. And 
my favorite, Snowy Village. Pretty silly. This next one, we'll listen to it uh, normal settings a little bit, and then we'll turn the bass all the way up. could be much much worse so objectively speaking we're talking a B on this one objectively speaking you factor in the $48,000 price the classic vehicle the minivan but most importantly for me the fact that you can only get this system on the SX premium that definitely caps it at a B for me if this were a sound system you could get on the lower trims of the carnival as well it might work its way up to an A subjectively for this class but it's disappointing that this is only reserved for the top trim. I bet you they'll change that in future model years. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more on the Carnival, check the link in the description for our other reviews. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.